discussing matters around uh, importance for students. Um, if and it was an attempt to honor your requests for uh, consideration by the, by the entire board in an informal process. You obviously disagree with that process, so uh, I guess um, if we don't have your support in trying it out, then I would need to concur with um, Mr. Everhart in um, saying that we leave it up to the superintendent and the board president to determine what the agenda items will be. Well, Madam President, I'd just like to respond to Mrs. Mayo here, which is um, I'm not saying you shouldn't ever try to change a process. I'm a big believer in that. And um, yes, my agenda items have been blocked. And no, I haven't repeatedly um, put forward the same agenda items. And also, if you look at the agenda items that I'm putting forward, they do not require staff time, and they are at no cost to the district. The items that I put forward are, are more about communication, transparency, accountability, procedural things. I'm not suggesting we can't have a better process, because the current process of just simply obstructing them is, is not a healthy one. It's not healthy for the community that might ask that those items be put forward. It's actually blocking their right to, to have a voice and be heard by simply omitting them from the agenda, that's not a, a well-represented way to do it. I'm not saying we can't have a different process, and I'm not saying you know your idea is a bad one. I'm saying that when you come forward with a procedural change, then the way that the board should function as a body, given that we have bylaws, is to bring forward an, a, a modification or an addition to a bylaw. And bylaws can always be modified and changed and replaced. And so if you firmly believe in that and want to bring it forward as a statement in addition to a bylaw, then that certainly is something that the board considers, can put in place, and can try. And if it isn't effective, we amend it. I think board members should be creative in trying to bring forward issues. And I think that's perhaps what you were attempting to do. And I, you know, I just see it as a bylaw change of when you're doing something procedural. I don't think it's a wise thing for a board to just do informal agreements on how um, a procedure will be done differently. You know, it's a, it's a departure. It's simply trying to add into a bylaw what you're suggesting is that somehow board members be an advisory group to the superintendent and board president as they put together the agenda items. Well, I seem to recall that at one point in time you requested that the entire board be able to consider items to 